the Axon 1 and 2 provide Pamela's Pro Workout, Squid Sample and MFX with four additional freely assignable CV inputs for increased modulation possibilities. The Axon 2 additionally provides manual offset controls with each CV input, along with two performance buttons that could be mapped to various functions depending on the host module. The Axons function in a similar way with all three of the host modules, with only one Axon supported per host at any time. Let's take a look at them first with Pamela's Pro Workout. Here, the Axon 1 is connected to Pamela's Pro Workout. A synth voice made with the TASM O and MCF Times 2 is triggered and sequenced by outputs 3 and 4 of Pam. Let's start by patching a triangle wave LFO from output 2 to control the filter cutoff. We'll modulate the speed of output 2 using random from output 5. With the chosen parameter screen active, Press an Axon CV input assign button to control the parameter via CV. With CV assigned to a parameter, press and hold the encoder to access individual attenuation and offset for the parameter's assignment. This allows us to scale the range of the CV modulation. Let's move to output 3 and add a Euclidean rhythm to vary the triggering of our synth voice. We'll set the total number of steps, then patch a triangle wave LFO to axon CV5 and assign it to modulate the number of Euclidean triggers. Again, we'll hold the encoder on the assignment to add a small offset. We can also assign CV5 to control the level of our volt per octave sequence on output 4. Let's attenuate this assignment differently to better suit the pitch sequence range. Remember, attenuation and offset is unique to each assignment, so the same CV signal can be scaled to better fit multiple parameters. Let's repeat the patch, this time using the Axon 2. Like the Axon 1, CV is assigned to a parameter by pressing a CV Assign button with the chosen parameter screen active. However, the Axon 2 also includes an offset control for each of its four CV inputs. With no CV patch, the offset knobs function like manual parameter controls. Here we are controlling the speed of the LFO from output 2, modulating the cutoff of the MCF times 2. Like before, let's create a Euclidean rhythm on output 3 vary the triggering of our synth voice. This time we'll assign CV5 and add Euclidean triggers manually with the offset. Assigning hands-on control provides a fast and performative way to manipulate the gate pattern.
Next, let's assign CV6 to control the level of our volt per octave sequence on output 4. Increasing the offset will then transpose our sequence. Let's repatch the same triangle wave LFO from earlier. Attenuation and offset is accessed the same way as the axon 1 by pressing and holding the encoder from the CV assignment. Let's reduce the CV level for a smaller range. The offset control is mixed with the CV signal, so increasing it will still alter the sequence. In addition to the offsets, the Axon 2 also includes two performance buttons. They can be assigned to control various functions via the BPM menu of the PAM Pro. Let's look at each of the functions. Menu is the equivalent of long pressing the encoder to change between the modifier and extended parameter pages. We'll leave the A button on menu and continue to use it. Previous out moves backwards through the output pages. Next out does the opposite. Both next and previous out can be used from extended parameter pages for quick edits across all outputs. Mute will mute and unmute the currently selected output. Tempo will set the master BPM with two taps of the button. Next bank will load the next save bank of output settings. Previous bank will do the opposite, loading the previous bank of output settings. The performance buttons combine with the offsets to make the Axon 2 a powerful tool for performance and live use. Both the Axon 1 and 2 work in a very similar way with the squid sample and MFX, with quick assignment of CV control to the on-screen parameter. Just like with PAM, the same CV input can be assigned to any number of parameters. The 
offsets of the Axon 2 work especially well as hands-on control over the sound shaping parameters of the Squid and MFX. Offset and attenuation per assignment is also available. Finally, the performance buttons control similar convenient and useful functions. Remember, only one axon is supported per host module. Regardless of which, the Axon 1 and 2 provide additional patch flexibility and performance control, unlocking even more possibilities with the Pamela's Pro Workout, Squid Sample and MFX. For more information on the Axons and the rest of the ALM product line, please visit BusyCircuits.com.